What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Droll Kyle Mania here and welcome to another interior tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a bathroom and I know some of you may be thinking like, oh we already did a bathroom. Well this is going to be a new and improved bathroom. Today we're actually in one of my mansions, it's Everdeen Estate. You may have seen it from our Countdown to Cripsonati episodes, I've done a few interior like episodes on that. but. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial, and uh, here's where the bathroom is. Um, we're going to walk in. So, before we start, I just want to, like, throw some numbers your way. So, the, um, well, first of all, the, right here, this is a double stacked wall. And how I made this wall is I put pillared quartz lining the bottom, and they're sideways. And then on the top, I also did it. Um, the room is six wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six wide, and then ten long, like this, so ten long right there, and then actually I haven't counted the height, but it is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the ceiling is on the seventh block, um, and that is, um, the lighting, by the way, this is a natural texture pack, this is a end frame portal. And then above is just some glowstone. So this is like a man mansion bathroom. The ceiling does not need to be that high. So just throwing that out there. And alright. So ceiling is made out of jungle wood. You don't have to do that. And then the wall is white wool with pillared quartz as well. And alright, let's get started. First off, let's go through the blocks we're using. So we got quartz slabs, quartz stairs, enchantment table, um, light blue car carpet, End portal frame, cauldron, anvil, oak leaves, uh, tripwire hook, rose, white carpet, light gray carpet, fence gate, and yeah, we went through that already, and the pots. So let's do this. First off, let's make a tub right here. So it, this is just a small bathtub design. Pretty simple, very basic, um, and then you want to make it curve like that. And that's the bathtub. Um, so that's two by three, and then right next to the bathtub, we're gonna also make a two by three light blue carpet. So like that, that's right next to the bathtub. Then next to this, um, we're gonna uh, put a enchantment table down here for a book. And as you notice, there's some lighting. I'd uh, put lighting underneath these just to help light the room. Otherwise, this doesn't really light the room enough. So I think that's helpful. And right here, we are going to make our toilet design. And you want to put, put an ups down, uh, upside down stair like that. And then another one here. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, yeah. And then place a quartz uh, slab on top of that. And then uh, we don't need this. And then put white carpet there. And that serves as like the toilet seat. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll get to why these fence gates are here in a second, by the way. Um, alright, so that's, uh, the right side of the bathroom. Also, if you want to put some plants, if you have, like, a window, that might look good. Now, right here, we are going to put, uh, some light gray carpet. This is, um, what's up, Kevin? Kevin's in the game. So this is one, two, three. This is, uh, three away from the door. Um... We go. Also, the door is actually one, two, three, four, four blocks. Then the pillar quartz on the fourth door here. Then like this, that's uh, the sixth block. So the door is the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, ten. All right. So that's how the door goes, right in the middle, and it'll be equal on each side. And then right here, we are going to put carpet like so. Uh, light blue again. And in these two corners, we're going to put anvils like this, and then bring the leaves up three. Also, actually, let me just point something out. Uh, right underneath, I just put a piece of glass and then uh, some redstone lamps underneath to uh, light the room. I like that. It helps light it, and I think it's a nice feature. So bring those up three like that. Then place these two quartz slabs up like this to make a uh, counter. Uh, then the cauldrons for the sink. We don't need the cauldrons anymore. And then tripwire hook right here for like a faucet design. So that looks pretty nice. 
And now like most of the stuff is pretty much done in the bathroom. We're just going to add a couple more things that just tie it together nicely. So right here, you can take some light bulk blue carpet and bring it up two, I believe. And then right here, we are going to put upside down stairs like this and this. And on top of that, we are going to take out our flower pots and grab some roses as well. And then right there, we just uh, it's just a nice little design. Kind of ties the room together nice right over the sink. And then you could like put some stuff for like storage there in the shelf. And then right here, we're just going to put some light blue wool in this. Like this is just some decoration stuff. So if you have like some room in the wall, it looks nice. And then also, let me just get out fence gate real quick and show you what you have to do here. Uh, there it is. So fence gate, and then also you want to get out light gray carpet. So what you do is, um, I'm not going to, uh, well, I'll do it right here real quick. So what you want to do is you want to build this up like that. And then you could place the other fence gate there because you need to like build it up. And then just place light gray carpet on top and then get rid of these. And it makes a nice little shelf design. And then do the same over. You could do the same right next to the door. And like I said, it's just a nice little shelf design. Also, one thing I forgot to point out in the beginning is the floor is made out of chiseled quartz. I think it's a really, really nice design for a, um, like, I guess it's kind of like a tiled floor. And I really like how it looks for uh, bathrooms. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this interior tutorial. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. And um, also, let me, I just forgot to put back the carpet right here. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And um, comment if you'd like to see any other interior rooms. We've uh, got a whole playlist of them, but some of the uh, tutorials are out of date. So let us know in the comments what you want to see. And yeah, we will talk to you in the next one. See you later, guys.